Hi guys, uh, just wanted to share. My name's Ryan. Uh, just been jumping online looking for ways to create these 3D relief coins. Um, different ways, different methods, lots of fails. Then I come across some pretty simple ways to convert um, STL files uh, for 3D printers uh, into a bitmap or I should say grayscale um, depth map. Uh, so I just want to quickly show you how uh, I do that. It's going to be uh, very simple steps and um, I'm going to skip over things like saving files and stuff like that. I've already got them saved on my files, but I'll show you exactly where to get the file from and how to load it and things like that. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, with my little intro there, um, we'll just open up uh, a file finder. So I go to Colts 3D. So Colts 3D there. Uh, I get a lots of free uh, 3D files from here. And uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to use a little Goku uh, miniature here. So I've downloaded that file, um, loaded it on my computer. And now what you want to do is you want to go over to um, a website called STL to PNG. And again, um, I'll have all the links in the description. Um, you also want to determine if you want the top, front, side of the image uh, to generate. I also uh, choose a higher resolution just to get more depth out of it. So I'll go 20, uh, 20 um, 48, uh, and I'll normally put a, say a 15% depth offset. And uh, now we'll choose that file. Pick up Goku. And it's as simple as that. I, I, I pick the top. Oops. Try that again. This website has a bit of a glitch in it, so we've got to refresh it to go back to the start. Change the settings back again. Pick front this time. Choose the file again. information in it. Very detailed, shows the logo. There we go. Now you want to save that image. And then what I do is I'll um I'll pull that into Photoshop. Transparent. What I actually like to do is um, I put a inverse that to select the actual image and I put a stroke or an outer glow and I change that to the darkest roundabouts of the image. That way it won't have a sharp um, cutout on the, on the aluminium. There we go, that's the image. Now we want to change that uh, mode. I'll use 32-bit channels and also change that to grayscale. Now the image that it generates really big, so um, I put that to 300 dpi and um, make it just a like a 20 or 30, 10 centimeter image, just so it still keeps its uh, resolution, um, but it makes it easier to work with. Within Lightburn. We want to export that as a PNG file. It's still got the transparent background so it doesn't have wasted uh, material and then we export that one out as uh, Goku Lightburn. Okay. I'm going to click 
close Photoshop for now. No need for it. Now inside, another program I found, um, the website here, Image 2 STL. Now this website will actually show you what the grayscale images will look like. So let's try uploading these images. It's only going to be a small image, so I only do like, I don't know, 25 mil wide. I'll do a depth of 6 mil. It doesn't really matter in here, it's just a, an example of what it's going to look like. And convert it. Takes a couple of seconds. And you can see here that it has the depth map. So. Pretty cool. So you don't use this image anywhere, it's just to sort of illustrate that um, the grayscale image is working. And uh, pretty much all we want to do now is jump into Lightburn. As again, I've, I've loaded this up already um, just to save time, but you can see it's the same image that we've just generated. I think I actually had a bigger um, stroke on it and a darker stroke just stuff goes deeper. Now, turn on my laser. Now I do have my little trusty glasses but I'm going to use a webcam for this as you can see it makes it easier to see. Frame it up. That's all good. Check the settings. So um, you can see here that you use image mode 3D sliced. I put it on a 45 degree angle and in this one here I'm only doing a quick quick illustration so I got it on 0.025 which is 1016 dpi. Speed for mine, mine's an 80 watt uh, JPT. It's not a 2.5D, it's not a 3D, it's just a normal uh, fiber laser. Um, Number of passes. Now this is this is interesting because everyone will tell you different things. Uh, it's a 256-bit um, image or whatever it might be. Uh, so that's the different grays. Now uh, it was very interesting. Someone posted online that uh, if you actually put less than that, well, it, what it's going to do is it's going to upscale it, um, but still give you only the 128 uh, passes. So I just choose 128 for a shallow. Uh, if you want to increase it to say three, four hundred, five hundred, whatever it might be, it's just going to give you a deeper and more detailed engraving because what it does is it grabs that grayscale and um, does its computing uh, to work out exactly how it's going to break it up over those amount of passes. So 128 passes, I run a 60 frequency um, with only 50% power which is still a lot of power with my laser and I've got 110 uh, mil lens. So let's give that one a bell and um, let it go. So it takes a little while for it to um, compute after I press send, but there we go. Now I don't look over there at it, those lasers are pretty dangerous. Um, so I try to keep my eyes as far away as possible, but if I do, obviously, grab your little protected lenses and um, before you go and look at it. I also have it well ventilated, which was, I forgot to put on, uh, which vents out the window. And I have a fan. Because the house does get a bit stinky. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get rid of my ugly face off of here and I'm going to uh, speed things up until it's done. Now Lightburn says it's at 100%, um, 40 minutes and 30 seconds, um, but the laser's still going as you can see. 
Uh, it normally happens on um, big jobs like this, so it's got a bit of a buffer afterwards. So we'll just let it um, finish up and then I'll move the camera so that you can see, see what the uh, image turned out. I can already tell that uh, the details aren't as deep as that I'd like. Uh, this is purely because I need to do 128 uh, passes. If I did that at 256 and I put uh, at a finer detail, maybe a 0.015 or something like that. Um, I feel those uh, details would be a lot more prominent. So let's finish this off now.